welcome back to cooking with fix uh, today I'm gonna be preparing isi bus um, and I will show you uh, how I'm gonna do it these on the sides are the ingredients that you're gonna need a butter lemon salt a dill dried dill and cajun uh, the fish is already cleaned I I hate cleaning fish it's, it's, it's it gives me hey Yes. <laughs> so okay guys let me prepare the marinade then I will take you through okay now I'll be showing you on how to uh, cut the fish those diagonal lines ne? they always cut so like this don't go too deep my knives yeah so we're just gonna do like this then let me uh, prepare the thing, the marinade. So now let's season our fish to salt. Uh, dry dill. I'm gonna be stinging my spices like, go on. And then, Cajun. I don't like putting too much spices with fish because I want that flavor of fish, you know, that natural flavor. Yeah. So, yeah. If I get a pack of two, you can see Like, in the island, spice. And I'm just going to wrap this together. Our marinade is ready. I, mix, I melted the butter. And then I squeezed the lemon, one a whole lemon, and then I just um, drizzled in dry dill, and then I'll just whip it together. And then I'm gonna transfer my fish to this container, and then now I'm just gonna add my butter what what and then i'm just gonna leave a little bit so that uh when when it keeps um baking when it gets dry i'll just put this on top so i'll be saving a little bit and then now nicely and then it's ready to be in the oven now i'm getting it ready to put it in the thing in the oven and i'm i'm scooping the butter that's a little to just uh, put it inside the fish so that it has a flavor that ready now to be baked in the oven at 180 and i think um for 30 minutes or until it's brown I can't say at the exact time because we don't use the same um, appliances. So our fish is ready. So now we're gonna be preparing ama um, uh, green beans. These are frozen from a cane. So um, I'll be steaming them for five to six minutes. I've inserted my my uh, steaming gadget. <laughs> Now I'm going to add the beans. It's just going to take five to six minutes. Then I will show you how to make them taste nicely. Now I'm just going to close them. Voila. Our beans are ready. And you see how nice and green are they? Just the perfect timing you need. You see the color is still there. So I'm just going to set them aside. So now here I'm gonna saute the the green beans. Um, I had uh, I added a black pepper and salt. So I'm just gonna saute the black the green beans in this. Here we go with our beans. Just saute. You want saute like this. Like we got this and then oh sorry girl we're done with our beans making our white sauce 
I'm just melting butter here and now I'm gonna add uh, cream I'm gonna add uh, 500 ml because um, my family likes sauce so it has to be that much and then I'm gonna add some salt don't need to use this flour thing it's too tight salt and now I'm sorry I don't know where you're gonna get the spice just to make it that va va -vum. I'll add this uh, tomato and dry basil spice but then if you don't have the spice you can also add a in the parsley just to give it that va va -vum color and also add even like pepper you know, so that it's not that um, and then we the, the heat is up we're gonna wait for it to reduce and uh to be thick so it's still it's cooking so if it's doing a if it's cooking just make sure you also do this so that it doesn't stick uh, below the, the, the pan but it's not ready yet it's still wet our sauce is about to get ready. You see, I'm a bubbles now, they're coming too fast, which means your sauce is going to be red. So you must really take care of it. And if your sauce can um, separate, if you overdo it. So be careful. Now it's crucial time. Just do this. The sauce is ready now. It's ready, it's thick. But then if you want it more thicker, you can go thicker, but be careful that your sauce does not break. Because it, it looks terrible when it's broken because you will see the oil. So mine, it's fine. I'm going to switch off the stove and take it off the heat. I've just um, did our potatoes on the microwave for 10 minutes, but I think they're too thick for me. I'll just uh, uh, add milk. Done. So the white sauce, uh, white sauce, green beans, fish, and potatoes. So I'm now I'm gonna show you how do I um, plate my plate because y'all want to see that. Not much so that the plate doesn't get full. Where is that fork? Mm. and then after dishing them up I'm just gonna make them use the, a small fork just to put have it in shape you know just like this this pattern see now they are nicely molded and then you can also use your hands because they are clean obviously you are cooking so your hands should be clean so now i'm just gonna add the beans here like you can let the things flow it's fine just sometimes let the food control you you know you can never know what a pattern you can come up with and now it's our fish hey. Hey, how about you when they plate fish? Anti fish you put your man's in as a fly lip plate. And then just lay it nicely like this. You see? Oh! Good thing you make it. Yes, just like this. Oh! That's not a puma mat in your wings and look at your pass. And then now our sauce. Just just like this. Voila. And like to add that vavavum, I'll be adding some uh, black pepper. Is this to the plate? It's good another thing. 
and then <coughs> some chill flakes. I shame lay on the gangy tin bill. See, and then also, I'm just go, I'm going to wipe my plate here on the side because uh, it doesn't look that nice when it's like this on the side. Our meal is done. See, you can even serve this for Christmas, really. It's not stress stressful. It's singy. Not over serious children. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. We're about to eat. <laughs> guys, look, she's taking her pictures now. This is behind the scenes. So, you see, she uses a normal phone to take her pictures. Okay. I need to, mom. So, this is the yes, setup. Yes, I'm so yeah this is how we take the pictures <laughs>